But it to uh, like um, you know, with Parkinson's, it, you, you, it's a cruel disease. You can't let it uh, beat you. You got to beat it. And but training, training was the hardest thing, right? Um, because when I was going to the gym when I first got diagnosed, obviously the left hand was shaking. So everything I'd lift, like my technique and form was not very good because controlling the weight with the left hand that shakes and the right hand, like if you're doing a dumbbell press, the right hand's going up, the left hand's not going up. So what I had to do to incorporate, to do exercises to stabilise it is to do machines, weighted machines. So I did machi machines for three years. And then all I was doing was machines. And one day I was at... Um, I was, at, I was at the Snap Fitness at Bondi Junction, training there. And there was, there was, this, there was this big, big Tongan dude. You know, he was doing the 50s and he was doing it like 10 to 12 reps. And I'm thinking, I'm just sitting on the machine gun. Man, it's been a while I've done. Let, let me give it a go, free weights. Mate, I jumped on the flat bench, done a 20 kilo dumbbell, 10 reps. My arm wasn't shaking. The technique was fine. It was full. I was like, man, that's, that's all right. So I grabbed the 30s, I did about 10, and then grabbed the 40s and did about 8. And Even though I did 8 and 40 kilo dumbbells, it was like mad. Like I was jumping up and down, like cheering, going, of yes, course. because I couldn't do that. Like I had to train the brain because it's all linked. Brain, muscle, nerves, they all, they all link and uh, it helped. And then I, I just started training hard, training hard. What was the, your doctors and your neurologists' um, immediate response to that? Did they say to you to ease off the training? Did they say no, for no. you to double down on it? No, they... All right, guys, we need to stop for a second because I want to ask you something. Do you know what the number one regret is for a human being? It's not betting on themselves. It's not taking a chance and it's not chasing that dream that you often see discussed on this show. And do you know what the number one reason as to why people don't do that? It's because of money. But if there's anything I want you to take away from this podcast, it's that you can. You can go and chase your dreams. You can travel the world. You can start the next Fortune 500 company. That's why I'm super excited to announce that I've partnered with Monarch Financial Group. Monarch Financial Group are a team of mortgage brokers who are absolutely committed to making sure you get access to the money that you need and the education that you need. They've got teams of mortgage brokers with over 10 years of industry experience. And that experience goes towards fighting tooth and nail to make sure that you get the best deal possible. So it's time to stop procrastinating on that dream. It's time to go to monarchfinancialgroup.com.au. Make sure to mention Luca's podcast in the process. They, they said, uh, just take it easy at training. Right. But when I train, I don't just like go in there and just take it easy. Like, I, I, I always go, I put in 100%. <laughs> Whatever I do with sports, bro. Whether it's basketball, I, 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 you know, funny you say that. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button. And you might also want to check out this video right here. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.